in all of a month I've had for my sweetheart just two letters of three lines each. Is she as busy as all that? Doesn't she feel an absolute necessity of writing to her best friend? At any right of thinking of him? Now to live without thinking of Josephine, to me that would be death, annihilation. Your image embellishes my thoughts and throws a cheering light on a black and sinister scene of melancholy and dolor. A day may come when I shall see you again. I do not doubt that you will still be in Paris. And that day I shall show you my pockets full of letters which I never sent you because they were too foolish, too silly. Bet is the word, good Lord. Tell me, you who know so well how to make others love you without giving any love in return, do you know any cure for love? I would pay very dear for it. You were to leave on five prairie ale. Fool that I was. I expected you on the 13th. As if so pretty a woman could give up her accustomed ways, her friends, her Madame Talion, her dinners with Burra, some new theatrical piece, and Fortuné, yes, Fortuné, there's not a thing you don't love more than you do your husband. For him, you have at most a trifle of esteem. Just a little of that general benevolence with which your heart abounds every day. Telling over and over my wrongs at your hands, I vainly exert myself not to love you anymore. Bah! I only love you the more. Yes, incomparable little mother. I'm going to tell you a secret. Mock me as you like. Stay in Paris. Have lovers and let all the world know it. Never write me. Well, I'll only love you ten times the more. If that isn't frenzy, fever, delirium, I shall never be cured of it. Oh, yes, by God, I shall be cured. But don't be telling me you are ill. Don't undertake to vindicate yourself. Good Lord, you are forgiven. I love you to madness. And my poor heart will never cease to give you its love. If you should not love me in return, my fate would be fantastic. You've not written me. You were ill, so you did not come. The directory would not let you come. And you fell ill. The little one made such a to-do inside that he made you ill. You are this side Lyon now. You will be in Turin on the 10th. On the 12th, you will be in Milan, where you will wait for me. You will be in Italy, and I will be still far away from you. I drew well, beloved. One kiss on your mouth, another on your heart, and another on the little one who isn't there. We have made peace with Rome, and Rome has given us money. Tomorrow we shall be at Leghorn. As soon as it can be managed, I shall be in your arms, at your feet, on your breast.